Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to learn AT Tiny 85. It's an MCU microcontroller unit, which is going to be very, very useful for building smaller applications like wearable applications. And anywhere you have form factor as a concern, you can select this microcontroller and it will be certainly helpful for you to have a very reduced form factor. This microcontroller will not occupy much space at all. We will discuss this in this session and we will also clearly understand what all the features that are available through this AT Tiny 85 and it's interesting. The name itself tells you the story. AT Tiny 85. It's tiny. It's very small. It's a low power 8-bit microcontroller which is based on RISC architecture. Reduced instruction set architecture and it is manufactured by Atman. It is very famous because it's very small and the power it has got. It is very efficient. It is small. Does it compromise the power? Does it compromise the features? No, it doesn't. It still has the extreme power. It still has the power which a normal microcontroller in the market has got. It has got amazing 8 KB of flash program memory, which can be used for storing code as well as storing the runtime data. It supports the protocols like the most happening SPA I2C protocols. It has got six GPU opens. Having six GPU opens almost makes it equal to the normal other microcontrollers in the market. The microcontroller unit can be programmed very easily and there is no additional learning which is required for somebody to use this. It is available in three different packages and you can see all of them in front of you right now. Well, what is ATT85 we have explained. Now we need to understand the pinout. ATT85 has got eight pins out of which the two pins are dedicated for VCC and ground. That is the way any microcontroller goes with. The rest of the six pins you can use between the I2C, digital GPIO, analog GPIO or SPA. This makes it special. AT2085 also does not have native UART peripheral. Will it make it inferior? No, we have got an option. We can obviously use external libraries to define the pins as RS and TX lines. So this will make it complete. This will make it completely fit for you to choose it for any application. And we will also learn about how do we use the libraries for AT2085 in this session. AT2085 also has another very important feature which I'd like to highlight. It is nothing but the variable or any voltage range is supported. I mean the variable voltage range is supported. It supports, it needs the voltage from 1.8 to 5.5 volt making it very much feasible for even the low power applications. It has good performance. It has got a small form factor. It has got low power requirements. So what more do we need? We can go ahead and select it. I have presented you the features of AT2085 in front of you for your quicker perusal which has got the complete spec details. The program memory type is flash, 8 KB of program memory size is presented, the CPU speed is 20 MAPS, DMAPS, SRAM, 512 bytes, data EE prom, 512 bytes, digital communication options are available with us, one is SPA and another one is I2C, we have got PWM support as well, we have got two timers, comparators are also available, one comparator is given here, the temperature range supported is pretty good, it goes to minus 40 to 85, operating voltage range, I told you it starts with the 1.8 volt and it goes on till 5.5, the variable voltage range and I already told you it has got only 8 pins, well, we need to understand a little more on the pinout. Well, you can see that we have got pin number 8 and 4 completely allocated for VCC and ground. That's the way any microcontroller goes or any chip goes. There has to be a VCC, there has to be a ground. The pin number 1 is married to the reset option. Pin number 1 is the reset pin. Remaining pins, say 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, they can be used as analog or digital pins. This makes it very, very flexible. You got PWM pins also available at 2, 3, 5, 6. So please understand, when you go with I2C, you need to have the SEL and the SDA lines. So pin number 7 and 5 can be chosen further. It's very important to understand here I2C support is there, here SPA support is there, PWM is there. So what more we need? We need everything, we have everything whatever we need with the, uh, this AT Tiny 85. Well, there is something called as Arduino Uno which is going to come into picture now. So how, are, how is it connected to AT Tiny 85? There is a very interesting factor which you need to understand. Uh, AT Tiny 85 is very cool in many aspects and this is one of the aspects. You do not need any dedicated programmer to upload or burn the bootloader into AT2085. Yes, you do not have to go ahead with any other options. You do not have to break your head at all. You can use Arduino Uno. I have presented the pinout diagram here. So you are going to use the Arduino Uno as in-circuit serial programmer, which will be sufficient enough for this kind of microcontrollers and this will help you in getting the bootloader burnt. This is going to be very, very easy and very powerful. So the connection diagram and the connection details are presented to you so you can refer it and you can try it out. So Arduino Uno comes and helps the fellow AT1085 for it to work fine. Well, 
uh, we need some libraries to be installed you are going to use mostly arduino ide for everything so i have given you the link where the library files are available you need to add this link you need to give this link into the preferences window where we need to just add this under the board manager so you can see that here preferences option is here and additional board manager url is here you can add this link and click ok the moment you have the hyperlink pasted in the additional board manager you can open the boards manager in the tools option so i'm doing it here you can go here boards manager there you will have the at tiny listed that's all you can start using it that's it. The session was very quick, I believe, and this session helped you in understanding the complete overview of 801085, the purpose of it, the size, the form factor, all these features. And please understand, it can also help you with getting SPA, I2C support. All these are explained very clearly. I hope you uh, like the session, and you also have Arduino Uno support here for 801085. So the basics are covered pretty much here. So go ahead, explore further. If you have any questions, you can ask me anytime. I'll be very happy to answer. Thank you very much for following my channel and content. If you have any questions, please type it in the chat box. Thank you.